Hello all, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, let us discuss about action in C sharp. So what are actions? Action is a shorthand form for a delegate which accepts any number of parameters but does not return any value. So that means it's a void type. So you can assume like uh, it, it, it's a kind of method which doesn't return any value. So here uh, we have uh, the examples. So before uh, these shorthand notations like action from predicate, uh, if you have to write something uh, where you need to pass a method uh, that might be called that might be for callback or anything, uh, the syntax used to be like this like you have to create a delegate like this like here uh, we have created a delegate uh, with name add delegate and which accepts a and b as parameter and here we have created a static method and in inside our main class we have created uh, the delegate object and to the delegate object we are passing this method as a parameter and we are calling it like this so the advantage that you get here is like if you want to pass this add del object as a parameter you can pass this so uh, i mean it, it's it's not uh, a kind of developer friendly like first you have to declare it and later you have to create the object and after that you have to call that so this is not uh, that handy to the developer. So uh, in, in the later versions of the .NET, Microsoft came up with the solutions uh, like action, func, and predicate. So here we have an example for the action. So here uh, this statement and this statement works similarly, but uh, the syntax is different. So here we have declared an action which accepts two integer values as we discussed here this will not return any value so here a maps to first int parameter b maps to the second int parameter and if you have any string variables or if you have any type of uh, objects that you want your action to work with then uh, you can add them and here we are writing a kind of lambda expression so here after equal to based on the number of parameters you have to mention uh, your parameters name so that you can use them later in the function and here with this lambda notation we are calling the method that we have created above and uh, one more uh, beauty of this is like uh, if you want to create uh, this action with anonymous function you can do that also so here I have created an action and this index is same we are passing two parameters parameter 1 and parameter 2 and here we are using the lambda expression and here we are printing the sum of those two values so uh, as I said before uh, why we need uh, these parameters here is like if you want to use them later in your uh, anonymous method or in your actual method we can use this so here we are summing up those two parameters and after that if you want to call that particular method uh, uh, here then you can use this action variables like a function so here as this action accepts two integer values i am passing two integer values and here also the same so these values will be passed uh, to the add method and the this operation will be executed for the add action variable and for add action one here we are passing these two values and it will execute this anonymous function and it will print the sum of one and two here i have created a console application and i want to write an action I want to accept two integer parameters and a string parameter and I want to 
use this action so i am naming it as show some show some and uh it, it looks complicated when you see this first time but uh, just divide this and understand so here uh, we have declared a kind of generic type and we are passing three types inside the generic type and after that here we have written the variable name and part two of this declaration is we have to write the parameters so as we have three parameters over here here we are we need to declare three parameters param2 and param3 so this is the second part and after that we have to write the lambda expression so this in this we need to write the function so here i'm writing something like console dot right line uh, i'm printing something like haram3 plus i want to sum param1 plus param2 so here i have created the action and uh, i'm calling that over here And for this we have to pass numbers like 1 plus 4 and 1 message like uh, I mean, I'm executing this program so it printed the sum the main advantage that we get uh, with this kind of things is like assume uh, you want to pass this show some as a parameter to some other method so so here i am writing some method like condition display or something so here i am writing something like So, as we want to pass that particular action as a parameter, we need to write the same syntax over here. And I'm writing something like show some, or you can write any name. And here I'm passing some Boolean condition like uh, condition. So, my assumption is like if the condition is true, that means for better readable time writing equal to two so if it is true then only call this show some function with some one and four and some message some message or else else console dot right line something like condition must be true to call show some so like this we have written this and here if you want we can pass this show some as a parameter like if here if you see I'm passing this show some as a parameter and here I'm writing the condition as true so if we run this program it will call that condition display and it will display some message 5 okay and if I am passing this 
as false it will show something like condition must be true to call show some so here uh, the logic is simple it's not that complicated but in real time if you want to use this kind of callbacks uh, you can use action and func and uh, i'll uh, tell you a real time scenario like you have a method that do a lot of processing over here and there is a chance of exceptions while doing that so assume if the process here is successful then you want to call one kind of callback otherwise you want to call another kind of callback like handle success is one callback instead of show some maybe handle success handle failure this kind of callbacks you can pass them as a parameter and based on the logic here you can call those different callbacks that is all about the action thank you